Welcome back to the CryptoCoin channel, where we specifically work on helium projects right now. Uh, we do do some chia mining, but in this case, I'm going to be looking at doing and giving instructions and a parts list on how to do an outside enclosure. Uh, there'll be another video tomorrow that will actually be showing you us doing an install outside with this particular box and a Rack 5.8. DBI antenna. So the screen over here and I'm going to kind of show you what I do. So I go on Amazon, buy a box, I buy a Buds uh, exhaust port. Um, the thing about the exhaust port, just a little tip and trick, uh, inside of there, I'll show you in just a second, is a grate that I actually cut out. It's very similar to this kind of grate. It does not let enough air pass through. But in addition to that, I have these little mini fans they're powered uh, via usb they do have a three speed um uh, feature to them as well as it has a <clears throat> another usb extension so if you have to put a cellular hotspot in there you can power it right off of that i'm going to be using a two port smart um plug uh the bluetooth things uh is done on both sides so you can do them independently. I put the rack miner and I make sure that it's set up so that I can remotely power it. And you can see here that uh, I've got this LMR 400 cable, um, pre I've already drilled the hole and everything. And this is kind of, you know, I set it up so that I could attach this either with uh, Velcro or sometimes I'll use a zip tie and drill some holes in this bottom back plate to hold it in place but i also want to make sure that i can get it out if i need to uh, do maintenance on it but um, this is not that complicated a couple of tools that come into play are going to be a um, uh, hole saws uh, you'll need one for uh, the extension cord if this is powered locally and then you'll need another one for the buds exhaust port um, again, I'll show you this now. These fans are great. Look at this. It just fits with these little legs on here. These are actually designed to essentially sit on top of a component like this. So if you had, you know, a uh, tuner in your house and it was just was getting hot, they have these in different sizes and you can buy them. You just set it up there, plug into the USB of, you know, the whatever power port you have there. Um, and it just does a cooling. But in this case, I found them just exceptional for this project. So you can see I cut that plate out in there. And so you'll need a hole saw for the buds uh, unit. And then all I do is I just essentially force this into place. And there you go. I don't really need to do much more than that with it. I've got everything in place there. The other tool that I want to recommend that you get is a... Um, Instead of a drill bit, in this case, um, you know, you cut a hole here, you could get a drill bit. But these uh, multi-bit uh, tools are just fantastic. You can get them from Harbor Freight, super cheap. They come in usually like three. They have a set like this, and then they have one that has an even bigger hole. Uh, this side is, size is much bigger. It's probably, I don't know, about that big around. Anyways, they work great. This is not a complicated project. You can do it yourself. Um, you don't have to be all that handy, but there you go. So uh, come back. Uh, I'm going to be doing, like I said, an outdoor, um, an outdoor installation tomorrow at a uh, site where this box is going to get put up with an external 5.8 dBi antenna. We're going to be using a uh, mount, this particular mount onto the fascia of the house and we'll have that all set up um, looking forward to seeing how it goes and please uh, i'd love your comments on what you think and if you have advice on uh, how to do something different you know we're in this together i'm doing this not because i got a pretty face and you know, i like to hear myself talk i'm doing it because i really found myself struggling for the last four months trying to figure out all this stuff and searching YouTube after YouTube, and there's very little content. Uh, I figured, you know what, I'll give it a try. I'll help some other people. And so far, it seems like it's really helping. I appreciate your comments. I definitely would ask you to hit the like button. Make sure you uh, subscribe, and please hit those bell no notifications so that 
you will get notifications when I do new content. Uh, appreciate you supporting the channel. We're looking to get more subscribers, and I'm looking forward to helping more and more people. Thank you for joining us on the CryptoCoin channel.